What is going on, everyone? Welcome back to the Mass360 YouTube channel. I am joined by my good friend, Tyson. And we actually have a pretty cool video today. This is probably, what do you think, Tyson? One of the coolest finds that someone like you has discovered within a Mass360 iOS policy, I would say, this year. Um, yeah, sure. From a security perspective. I'm not, so, Tyson, just to give you guys some context, Tyson was giving us a Mac OS and iOS trading as a sales team. And he was able to uncover something that is going to be huge, huge, huge for our customers from a email security perspective around data leakage prevention. So Tyson, thank you for hopping in here and dropping some knowledge on us. I know this is going to help a lot of our customers out who aren't necessarily wanting to use secure mail, but do want some data leakage prevention around email. Yeah, for sure. I'm going to share out my screen for you. Perfect. This is your Master 60 homepage. Uh, we're going to go into an iOS policy. Specifically. So one of the big benefits of. Uh, secure mail generally is that you can't cut, copy and paste and you can't. Uh, you know, you can you have more granular control over being able to prevent data leakage. Where you can also do some of this in an iOS policy as well, and it's all of these settings for allow open from anything from manage to unmanage apps. There's a bunch of these settings. So allow open from manage to unmanage apps. If you get sent a work email and you have a link and that link is taking you to like a website with client information or something like that. It, you can't open if you, this is turned on. You can't open that into an unmanaged app. So, meaning you can't open it into Chrome if you downloaded it yourself. You can't open it in Safari if you downloaded your it, or it, well, that's the native app. But um, you would have to only it would stay within that Outlook Outlook uh, container, if you will. Got it. So both of those both of those features at the top that you had there, Tyson, at the top of the policy. As long as those are on, are on no, we're good to go, correct? Correct. Yep. So if these are turned off, then it would prevent the mingling of opening uh, certain content from your email. In this in this case, we're just going to use Outlook as like the mail app of preference for the business. If they're opening something, a link or an attachment or anything like that, it has to stay within managed apps. So if you push another app that would allow them to open it, then they could open it into that other managed app and, you know, save it there or whatever. And those, they can speak to each other. But if it's an unmanaged app, it won't let you open it into an unmanaged app. Same thing with AirDrop. AirDrop is a really great iOS feature that uh, scans your environment near you with Bluetooth and said, okay, here's Matt's phone. Let me just drop this PDF to him that I got from my email. It won't let you, it won't let you do that. It's not going to let you airdrop. There's another one for air print. So if you know, you go to your friend's house and you're trying to print out a document from your email, won't let you do it. I've tried it. I've tried every, I've tried every single possible way to get uh i had tickets that my daughter needed for a show and i was managing my phone as a byod device and i pushed out outlook and i had all of these settings for managed to unmanaged off so that and then i kind of forgot that i did it to be honest matt and then <laughs> i went to go print these tickets at my cousin's house and it just wouldn't let me air print. I couldn't move it to Safari to try to air. I couldn't, I could not get these tickets off of my phone. There you so go. It's, uh, it, it works really well. Manage to unmanage contacts. So it prevents the, you know, if, if you have Outlook contacts and you're pushing those to uh, Outlook or whatever, you can't pull those contacts into uh, an unmanaged contact space. Got it. My favorite one is this one right here. 
There it is. Baseboard. So this prevents, I have uh, sensitive information in my email. I go to cut, I go to copy it and post it into my notes app that I already have on my phone. It's part of iOS. It's not a managed app. It'll pull up a little banner notification at the top that says, you're not allowed to do this. Your company does not allow you to copy and paste outside of uh, your managed apps. That is, is huge. That is huge. Yeah, absolutely. But there's a bunch of them. Um, there's a bunch of them in here. Allow managed apps to sync to iCloud. If you have Outlook, you don't. If you have Outlook on your phone, Outlook syncs to iCloud. If you have it turned on, so you can just turn that off altogether, and you don't have to worry about any of that data from Outlook going to somebody's personal iCloud account. Got it. Yeah, awesome. there's a few of them in here. I think I'm missing a I'm missing a couple, but there's there's a bunch. I've I turned I purposefully turned all of them off and I tried my hardest to get these tickets off my phone. It would not work. It would not work. So the policy works. It policy works, man. I had to remove the MDM. I had to remove control from my phone <laughs> and then uh, and then try to do it that way. Yeah, so. that pasteboard one, Tyson, is huge because a lot of customers aren't fully bought into using secure mail. They'll say, hey, Matt, hey, Tyson, I don't want my employees having to learn a new email environment, even though it looks and feels the same as the native email environment. If they're not fully bought into secure mail, this is a workaround. I mean, it doesn't provide as much granular control around security in the email environment. But copy and pasting outside of Outlook, we can block that from happening. Tyson, anything else to add there? Uh, I don't think so. No. Perfect. Well, Tyson, nice always... features, what's up? There, there are some good features in here, though. Great features. Great features. But Tyson, thank you for finding that for the team. I know that's going to be a huge talking point when we're meeting with current clients and prospective clients who are looking into Mass 360 and have iOS devices, but really appreciate you hopping on here, dropping some knowledge. Guys, look out for Tyson in some future videos, mostly focused around Mac OS and iOS. He is our Apple guru on the Mass360 team. But Tyson, thanks for hopping on. Guys, like the video, subscribe, and hit the bell to be notified on a weekly basis when we post new content on this channel. Thanks a lot.